गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू फाइन वेरी गुड नाउ इज देशन ऑफ बिजनेस स्टडी एंड इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द कंसेप्ट ऑफ मैनेजमेंट इन द प्रीवियस क्लासेस I was explaining management from different angles, such as management as a process, management as a science, management as an art, management as an activity, etc., etc. Till now, we have understood that management is a science of utilizing the available resources in the best possible manner. in the best possible way to achieve the organizational goals and objectives okay so long as management as an art is concerned it is an art of getting things done through others in the best and cheapest possible way it means the management of an organization emphasizes on achieving the efficiency and effectiveness efficiency and effectiveness these are the two important things which must be understood here a manager must be effective in its action and a manager at the same time must be efficient now let therefore let us make a distinction between these two terms effectiveness and efficiency effectiveness means achieving the goals on time or completing a particular job on time it means if the manager of an organization gets the job done gets the work done on time and achieves his goals then that manager will be called as effective in his action thus being effective means being successful in the work being successful in operation being successful in achieving the goals of the organization okay but effectiveness is not related to the cost it is also important to see at what cost a job is completed at what cost a goal has been achieved the cost when we say it is estimated basically in three terms in context of management first the cost of a particular job is measured in terms of time to be consumed in it second the cost of a job is estimated in terms of money to be spent for it the cost of a job is estimated in terms of the efforts of the people engaged in that okay therefore it is also important to see think children any organization is set up for what to achieve something and whatever has to be achieved by it can be called its goal as for example the goal of a hospital organization may be to provide the better possible medical cares to the people the goal of a school organization may be to provide the quality education to the children the goal of a business firm may be to earn maximum possible profit 
the management of any organization whether it is a business organization or non business organization the management has to achieve its goal through better planning organizing a staffing directing and controlling and thus management or its needs because a goal is fixed otherwise there is no need of management if there is no goal what is the need of management there is no need of management understood the second important characteristic of management is that it is all pervasive all pervasive in what sense in the sense that the principles of management are applied in all types of the organization to solve the problems of day to day operation of the activities and there is always a scope of calculation there is always a scope of minimization there is always a scope of maximization in managing an enterprise thus the managers engaged in managerial activities of an organization they have to be effective and efficient both and all the time they have to make efforts for enhancing their effectiveness and efficiency okay children now it is clear what is called effectiveness and what is called efficiency we will study this topic in detail in your textbook now come to the next topic and that is the characteristics of management what are the basic characteristics of management till now we have discussed the meaning of management in detail and from the definitions of management we can extract some basic characteristics of management such as number 1 management is a goal oriented process always the management of any organization is always a goal oriented process that means if there is no goal of an organization there is no relevance of management in and to make decisions thus management is required in all types of the organizations whether it is a business organization or it is a non business organization whether it is a large organization or it is a small organization and that is why management is called to be all pervasive okay children today i would like to finish this lecture here and tomorrow we will discuss something more thank you very much